everything in my house sings. Including your weenie. Every, no. That's a shame, mine does. Mine makes, uh... Groaning noises. <laughs> Why? What would you want? No. <laughs> That's good. The IMAX theme? Get a little too in detail of my sex life. <laughs> Back to our stupid directory, it's a Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't loud, you're doing something Instagram, wrong. Twitter, juice content, Patreon, Twitter account, hey, bell, hey. notification squads. Woo! Today we're doing a movie review, you little. Bech, yes. Little what? Is that Bech, yes. first word in German? <laughs> uh, the 2009 film Rocket Sing, Salesman yeah, of the, the Year. Uh, directed by Shum. Seth left his ball on the floor. Yeah, he did. Wow. Uh, say his name? Uh, Shimit Amen. Amen, who... I don't know if he directed Chalk Day, but let's see. He did. Okay, he was the director of... Uh, I don't know if we've seen him anywhere else uh, other than that, the director. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's starring... Ranbir Kapoor. Uh, and then Prem Chopra and a whole bunch of other... This is a big ensemble cast. But it's a 2009 film. It's a comedy drama. A story of a fresh graduated trying to find the balance between and the mundane, mundaning? No, maddening. Maddening demands of the professional, professional way, way. And the way of his heart. heart. He looked great in a turban. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, but, 100 Cent Spoiler Review came out in 2009. I assume most of you have seen it. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it, come back. Unless you'd like to be spoiled. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. When uh, Androni first got here, we went to. Um, Olive Garden. Okay. Because she'd heard a lot about it. I hadn't been in a few years, uh -huh. and my mom had said, let's go go there. So we went, okay, we'll go to Olive Garden and try it. Um, I'm using that as an example because the experience we had at Olive Garden was like, oh. It's like there's heard a lot about Olive Garden, but at, when it was done, we were like, oh. And that's that's what happened for me watching this i for me i just thought everything was basically okay everything i thought everybody did fine i thought the acting was fine i thought the directing was fine i thought the cinematography was fine it wasn't anything that really engaged me it was too long uh and then ultimately there were things i had problems with the story as far as believability and some moral conundrums i saw so ultimately for me i didn't i didn't enjoy it mm. No, I, I enjoyed it. I do agree it's long. I did enjoy this one, though. Uh, it's surprising me that you didn't like this one, because this one actually felt to me a lot like PK and Three Idiots. Oh, my goodness. Um, not even in terms of, remotely close. In terms of the style of film it is. In terms of, obviously, it came out the exact same year. I do believe, believe Three Idiots came out in 2009. Um, but in terms of, you know, how it was filmed um, and the story that has a moral to it and then it's kind of like a feel good in the end. It's one of those things. So it's not something that um, I would ever consider like an awards worthy film. No. Um, but I, I, those kind of films as well. So like the Americans, it's like, this is going to be an enjoyable ride. And I did enjoy it, but I do agree it is long. Uh, it definitely could have probably chopped off at least 30 minutes of this film. Easy. Totally, totally agree with you on that one. Uh, but overall, I did enjoy this film. Uh, but this film, I know, did not do well at the box office, but I think it's because it came out the exact same week as Three Idiots. Oh. <laughs> that, that would so. help. But it, also, it also may have been, and I'd be interested to know what, I mean, I'm assuming there's enough stupid babies who like this film that it was recommended enough for us to watch mm -hmm. it. Yes. So clearly there's enough of you who really like the film, and I know you get excited when I like a film and disappointed if I don't, if it's one you really like and yeah. give it to us because you want us to like it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just, I, again, I didn't have a problem with, like nobody was blaringly bad at all. In fact, the, most of the performances were, were fine. There, uh, again, there wasn't anything particularly captivating in any of the performances. Uh, I also, the moral conundrum I have was the prospects of why he did what he did and how it ends ultimately, which is also a believability factor for me. So I don't know what part you want to get into first, uh, because basically across the board, whether it's the writing, the directing, the score, the editing, it's going to be pretty much all across the board for me, just okay. Well, you, you for me, it would be story would be the largest thing I have to talk about. Yeah. Um, 
But you you would probably give it more of a C. It's a C. Okay. Yeah. Um, Because sometimes you have an ability to harp on something and make it sound like you hated something. No, no, no. And you didn't. No. Uh, No, I I give it a C. I want to give them the knowledge to know that you didn't hate the film. Yeah. But you thought you didn't. And like enjoy it like you would have enjoyed a, another film. Absolutely. But sometimes you have this ability to harp on something and it sounds like you absolutely despise right, it. Right, because I talk about the yeah. thing that bothered me most yeah. and people assume just, that's the only thing I, I took just, away from the I just the want film. to clarify for everybody. Thank you. No. my What I do, either whether I like the film or I dislike the film, I will accentuate the thing that is the biggest for me, whether it's my biggest joy or my biggest problem. Yeah. And many people can assume that's my only takeaway. But yeah. thank you. But uh, I actually really enjoyed Rent Beer, and I know you might not agree. I actually, this is one of my favorite performances of his. I, I actually really, I got invested into this film, which is why it's really? kind of shocking to me that you didn't I, uh, get invested into it. And it was, you know all, it was all cliches, but I, I set myself like almost immediately. It like frames wise, it felt like a three its PK, and I'm like, okay, so this is well, um, we're not going in for. I a thought bunch about of stereotypes. Something. There's a bunch of all that. I thought about something that may have shaped it, and I tried hard to not allow this to shape. Yeah. So, I have been watching a lot of movies that are up for awards in the past month. Mm-hmm. Almost, if, if I'm not watching a movie for the, the SAGs, mm-hmm. I'm watching a movie for OSR. Yeah. I'm watching a movie every single day. Yeah. I was trying really hard, and I may not have been able to do it, to not allow the caliber of cinema I've been seeing this past it's month possible. influenced this because if I was to compare this to the stuff I've been watching... Yeah. Yeah, it, it's very possible. And uh, especially if you were trying to make it like some awards-worthy film. I and wasn't. That's, that's not what... No, I wasn't. I, I, I really wasn't. I enjoyed this film the same way I enjoyed PK and, oh, and wow. the Three Idiots in you terms can... of just... It's an enjoyable film to me with a good performance by the lead. And I think, every, like you said, everybody else did well. There's not anything that's, I'm like, that's an amazing performance. Oh, not at all. Even though I did really enjoy Rand Beer in this. In terms of, I like, enjoyed his likability, I enjoyed as, his performance. As I enjoyed much his... as you enjoyed Amir in, in PK? Yeah. Oh you enjoyed PK stars. way more than I Or did. even Three Idiots. Yeah. But you know I had some blaring issues with Three Idiots in terms of yeah, performances. You particularly didn't like the principal. <laughs> but, so for you, you'd recommend this in the same breath as PK and Three if Idiots? If you're looking for an enjoyable film like that, Holy yeah. crap. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, not even in the same solar system for me <laughs> as those movies. Not even the same solar but, system. But yeah, I did enjoy his performance quite a bit. Uh, I thought he brought an endearingness and a difference. Because we've seen a lot of good performances from Ren Beer. We've seen Barfy. Uh, we've seen um, the. My, probably my favorite is Tamasha I, in overall performance agree. and film. We haven't seen anything bad. The only time I ever disliked a performance of his, I corrected myself on, which yeah, was Barfy. Barfy. And, and then I saw it again and realized that even was though wrong. we didn't appreciate uh, uh, Rockstar, his performance Him in Rockstar, Rockstar was really, really good. Correct. Uh, so I think he this brought a very different performance. He brought it like a, an innocence. Maybe it's because he was Sikh or Punjabi. Maybe that, maybe yeah. that I, I just, I love those people. Uh, but he, he brought this kind of vulnerability to him and I thought it was so unique and so different for him. And the overall film, I just thought had a really nice, even though it was, you know, predictable, a re- not like you've seen this kind of stories told out many times of sure. guy that company shits on essentially and decides to, I mean, Michael Scott paper company, the, the exact same exactly. from, from the office, right? right. <laughs> also, Martin Scorsese. Did you steal a line from this movie? I do want to know that. Was that, sell me this pen? Oh. Was that a famous thing before? Well, because I, I, only other place I had ever heard it was Wolf of Wall Street, which came out in 2013. Yes, but there's also another film that came out before that, which it? is, um, oh my goodness, Alec Baldwin's in it. And I think Beetlejuice. it's in there too. No, 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 okay. he is in that. <laughs> it's a sales movie. Uh, uh, and it, 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 gotcha. Very famous, and it was a play before it was a film. Okay. And I believe that it's there it? too. But so it's a yeah. popular sales thing. Yeah, but okay. when was Wolf of Wall Street though? 2013, which was not four yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four years after, which is why I'm 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 curious. <laughs> I, 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 that's, it, it's a strange coincidence. It's a strange coincidence. 
<laughs> right when I saw it, I stopped the film and I'm like, when did Wolf of Wall Street come out? Because that's how that line was made famous for me and probably most Americans. Yeah. Is some, it's a very famous scene now from Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, it would be, it would be <laughs> comparable to having somebody be like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And then a couple years later, you see it in the film. Right, so exactly. I'm just, I'm just curious about that fact. But yeah, I, his performance, even though you probably thought it might have just been after, I, I thought it was very different for him. I, was, I thought it was a very endearing performance. And I thought everybody else, like you said, uh, was a unique cast of characters. They were all, you know, stereotypical mean boss, the, the guy with the crazy mutton chops, the, the, the pretty secretary. But I thought they all did well in their roles. Yeah, they were fine. Yeah, like it, I agree with you on that. Um, but there was no glaringly bad performances. There were some like um, like dialogue like that was you know stereotypical like who in the office would all throw stuff at at you. But that's kind of what I chalk up to the three idiots PK style of film um, because those had those exact same like the peeing thing and fucking three idiots. That was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> God, it was so weird in that film. Um, but so, yeah, that that, and then the overall story, it just kept, you know, bringing me in. I think it's probably because I cared for Ranbir's character. Um, even it, so, exact example. Yeah. Even did you? So here's having had experience in sales. There were parts of his character that I was like, really, man. I mean, I agreed with his dad at the end when his when his dad said. Why didn't you just quit and do this on your own and stay here? I would have taken care of you. And I had the exact same thought. I'm like, why are you using the other company's resources to do this, but you seem to be a pretty upright moral guy, yet you're doing something that's illegal to the point of going to jail for. And I also don't know what it's like in in India. I know in the United States, if you work for a company that is involving sales, you typically have to sign a non-disclosure agreement that not only says you won't be in competition while you're working, but most of them say you won't be in the industry for two years if you ever leave. Mm. So if you're doing, I did, I did outside sales of first aid supplies and CPR training. Mm. Uh, I did uh, also some outside sales in terms of public speaking and personal development projects. Yeah. And with both of those companies, I signed non-disclosure agreements with both Cintas and Captivating that said, whenever I'm done working, I will not be in this industry for two years because I could take trade secrets I learned from them as well as when I was a financial uh, uh, advisor with World Financial Group. I worked for them for a couple of years and was signed an agreement that said, I not only won't compete while I'm with the company, but I won't be in the industry for a couple of years afterwards. So the fact that that would even be a consideration to me is highly, highly immoral to to do that while you're working at a company. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then... It was just too easily wrapped up in the end in terms of the main boss guy who, again, I thought was fine, did a good job. Having such a drastic moral compass change in his character on such a simple thing was very hard for me to believe. Well, the, yeah, I, I, I agree, but <laughs> that's the style of film that it was. We had those same films in the 80s that like everything is, you knew exactly where it's going. Even if like this, like the the crazy boss and whatever sure. film it was, it you knew it was going to end all happy. Sure. And I knew I knew a hundred percent how too. this film was going to end. I knew too. And I, I knew like, I knew how it was going to. I was just waiting to see how yeah. they were going to do it. Um, and so that that's why that didn't bother me. So I was like, those the same things happens in this style of film all the time. This is this is a film that, I, in my opinion, is meant to just be enjoyed and not really thought about outside of. Oh, I want a little bit of motivation to do what I so want to do. What's the moral to the story for this for you? Um, follow your dreams and or like believe in yourself more. I I'd, I'd, I'd probably say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the only reason I'm asking that is because PK is such a clear message of so many important things. With I know you didn't cry, but it has such an emotional element to it mm-hmm. comparatively that. I don't have a pro- if somebody liked this, I'm surprised, and it's one of those hey, you know, uh, what appeals to you doesn't appeal to me, but that you equate it with PK and Three Idiots is truly yeah. amazing. Why well, equate me. it with that style of film of that were made at that time in terms of this is a film that's going to be a little quirky, right? But, that, but it has a a good uh, uh, like an overall message in the end, right? And a good performance from and you're just gonna you're well, gonna maybe enjoy mis- yourself. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. It's one thing to say I consider them to be comparable stylistically. Mm-hmm. It's another thing to say that you find them to be comparable artistically. 
I thought you were saying you find them comparable artistically. I do. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I do. I 100% do. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think there's... I, in, in those films, even though they're, I think they're, they're good films, they both have all those glaring <laughs> problems of performance, dialogue, but you don't, I don't harp oh. on that because of I enjoyed the overall feel of the film oh. and the end in in Yeah, no, yeah. I, I PK's little monologue when he's talking to God about I've looked for you everywhere and you're not answering to me. That three-minute monologue is better than all of this. Okay. That's... <laughs> I just, I'm really shocked that you consider that artistically comparable. I do. Because yeah. I don't consider those artistic films either. Yeah. I know you do. Yeah. I do not. I consider yeah. them good, enjoyable films. Yeah. <laughs> this, I yeah, put in the same breath as those because I just... I, I can enjoy a film without, one, needing a message from it, two, loving everything about it. And I, overall, I was invested in Ren Beer's character uh, and the overall um, film because, probably mostly because of him um, and the likability he brought to that character. Um, and yeah, so, and it very well may be a big contributor, but I really tried to set that off to the side, and I can do that when I know it's happening. It's one thing for me to look back in retrospect and make a recognition of, oh, that's what I was doing, but I knew at the outset. I told myself, I'm five minutes in, mm -hmm. and I said, do not measure this by the films you've been watching. Let this be what it is. You recognize the genre. You know the style. Let it be what it is. And then you still didn't like it. Yeah, no. <laughs> still didn't like it. <laughs> but regardless, yeah. um, let us know what you thought about this film. Uh, what should be our next Ren Beer film? I know he has quite a bit that we have yes. still yet to see. Obviously, Thespianatic Muscles. Uh, Isn't the, the one where he plays a, a, a dut? Yeah, Sanju. Yeah, Sanju. Um, yeah, he also has Wake Up Sid, which we haven't seen as well. But um, I think he has one coming out with Alia that they're about to announce. Ooh. I think I've heard. Um, which will be interesting. Be they, I don't interesting. think they've done one together. It's definitely not since they've been together. Yeah, not that, since they've been together. Um, so that would be interesting. I don't know what style of film it is. I don't know if it's no. a, if it's like the Kion Johar Renvir. Yeah, Ali if I'm thing. not mistaken, he also because we mentioned this about Amir. He hasn't released something since we started the channel. There's a few that haven't, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, true, because he did Sanju in 2018, right? And that was and basically just his last. Yeah, uh, Animal is apparently coming out to him 23, but it, it went straight to video. Um, I don't know what that is. That comes out in 2022. And yeah, those this, are in production. This is the big one. Yeah, those are in production. Oh, is this the one with Alia? That might be. Is that what she did the the post on today where she was showing the visuals for something? Well, we've it reacted, is that. We've reacted to I think a motion poster for this. Yeah, because it's it's gonna be like a big film like RR. Like, right, right, it's right. Massive. Right. Um, but yeah, it's Alia. Yeah, that's her. And so maybe B. that's what it is. Dimple. Yep. It says. A ton of people in it. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's all Anywho, about. there you go. <laughs> Let us know so, what you thought about this film and what should be our decision. next Ranbir Kapoor film. Uh, we still need justice for Ranbir because, you know, Rick hates him. Let us know down below. <laughs> <laughs>